Dandruff is a major problem for millions of people. It's uncomfortable, it can be embarrassing and it's persistent. There are plenty of anti-dandruff shampoos on the market, but for many the harsh chemicals in the shampoos throw up their own set of problems. Increasingly, people are turning to natural solutions to try and treat their dandruff. Castile soap is one such solution. What is Castile soap? Castile soap is named after the Castile region of Spain it derives from. Originally it was an olive oil-based soap, but these days a whole variety of natural plant and vegetable-based oils can be used in its production. Common varieties include hemp, coconut, almond, walnut. The other ingredient in Castile soap is lye. When lye is introduced into the oil, the resulting mixture forms soap molecules. Now comes the clever bit, introduce water into this mix and these molecules become charged and it's this charge that attracts the negatively charged dirt and grime atoms. Clever stuff, but does it work against dandruff and how do you use it? How do you use Castile soap? Castile soap comes in liquid or bar form, and either can be used for washing hair. And before we get into the nitty gritty of hair wash, let's chuck in a fun fact about castile soap, as well as being a shampoo, that is a natural dandruff treatment, it can also be used for a range of other household cleaning including kitchen cleaner, laundry detergent and even as an insect repellent for plants. Usage of the soap on hair depends on a number of factors from the type of soap you have purchased to the minerality of your water. The latter can affect the performance of castile soap far more than it affects standard shampoos or soaps. Another factor that you should be aware of before you make the transition to Castile soap, is that will be just that, a transition. Most conventional conditioners and shampoos have active ingredients that contain waxes and silicones. It is these ingredients that give your hair its body and that silky feeling. However, it comes at a cost. In doing this they are also depriving your hair of its natural protective oils, for many this is one of the factors that can contribute to dandruff. This is one of the reasons that Castile soap is effective against dandruff. It contains none of the waxes and other chemicals present in most shampoos and conditioners. However, it is this difference in the way both soaps treat your hair that can cause your hair to go through a transition period. While in some cases people have jumped straight from ordinary shampoos to Castile soap and had no noticeable effects, others have reported hair feeling and looking greasier than usual. Others still, have reported their hair being drier after changing. Both are quite normal and the changes usually only last between 2 to 4 weeks before things settle down. If you are trying this soap and your hair is feeling a bit bedraggled, stick with it, the results can be amazing. Let's have a look in a little more detail about how to use Castile soap. Liquid Castile soap. Liquid Castile soap should be diluted. However, this can be done just by applying a small quantity of soap to your hair and then adding water. A bit like washing your hair with a conventional shampoo then. You can also dilute the desired amount of soap, usually around a dessert spoon, in a one half cup of warm water then applying his to your hair. Bar soap. Some bar soaps are better for hair washing than the liquid versions, with bar soaps extra oils can be added after the soap production, this means these oils are not turned into soap molecules and can add extra moisturizing. Usage of these is simple, work up a lather and apply to your hair. And there you go, all nice and easy and with regular usage the dandruff will go away. Well, not quite, there are a few factors you should be aware of, when using Castile soap. Water hardness. The performance of Castile soap is adversely affected by the hardness of your water. In harder water the minerals in your water react with the soap and reduce its effectiveness. While this is true of all soaps, Castile soap's performance seems to be affected more than conventional soaps. While adding a water softening system to your house is probably a bit extreme, just to change shampoo. One option is to try an adapter, these are available for taps and shower heads, and they filter out the minerals and soften your water. Conditioning. As with most shampoos, conditioning your hair afterwards is a crucial part of your hair care routine. Because of the way Castile soaps work, particularly during the transition period, conditioning your hair after washing is crucial. It would be a shame to go to all the lengths of using a natural soap with no harsh chemicals and then using a conventional conditioner. Conditioners that are natural, like apple cider vinegar or coconut oil based conditioners are a great complement to this product. Soap buildup or waxy hair. This occurs most frequently in the transition period. 
If that is the case, then just brushing it out in the meantime with a natural bristle brush is all you'd need to do. If the conditions persist then it may be down to the hardness of your water. Try washing your hair in soft water and see if it improves. Greasy hair. For most people this will settle down within 2-4 to four weeks of Castile soap usage. However, if it doesn't settle down there are some actions you can take. Include a little baking soda in your shampoo mix. Switch to a diluted apple cider vinegar as your conditioner. Work the soap firmly into your scalp when shampooing. Castile soap is a great natural way of fighting dandruff, but it may take a bit of working it to get the right balance that works best for you. If you do decide to try it, then stick with it and you could wave goodbye to dandruff. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.